Welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program, folks. I have put in all the sorters for, well, this entire thing. Uh, but I took out some power because I want to see it spring to life together with you guys. So we are going to stick in some power here. And off it goes. Springs to life. And... Now come the wonderful silicon crystals. So there we go. That is a lot. That is a lot. And it's basically two half full belts that we're getting. So, combined, it's one full belt of silicon crystals that we're, we're getting out of this. And it should be getting all the way to the end, right? Or not. I think it should. We'll just take some time because there are so many. But we're almost to the end now. So I think it'll get there. Uh, it's getting there. It's getting there. Cool, cool. So that is silicon crystals uh, made from fractal silicon setup. They're coming in at a decent pace, and they're set up correctly. We have those in there, so all is fine and dandy. Good. Now, the next thing we want to do is make the Casimir crystals. That's why we actually came here, uh, because we want just wanted the optical grading crystals, which we have over here. So we have 10,000 of them stored up. They are set to remote supply. They have everything they need. So all good. Now, what else do we have on this planet? We have copper and silicon, stone and coal. I don't think we need any of that stuff. So I think we're fine. Let's head back to Iota Bootus, if I can find it. Uh, there's Toliman. Uh, Sita. Iota Bootus! There it is. So let's head back there. And jump! Off we go. And luckily we have enough power to get there in one jump, which is really nice. So if you're enjoying uh, Dyson Sphere program, if you're enjoying the series, I would really appreciate it if you would hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe as well. Hit the notification bell so, when you, so you know when new stuff is coming out. It really helps me out a lot. So, yeah. Let's come out here. Oh, there it is. Let's head over to Iota Buddhist 3. Yeah, it really, really helps me out a lot. So, every like and subscribe is highly appreciated, and any comment as well is highly appreciated. Uh, I read all my comments and I reply to by far the most of them. So if you have ideas or suggestions, uh, they will be well received. Come on, get there. How far are we? Almost there. So Casimir Crystals is the project now.
Casimir crystals. Oh, here we are. And let's see. That's the wrong way. No, it's not. I don't think. Let's see. Let's just zigzag in through here. Because I want to build the Casimir crystals over here. Casimir crystals require the fractal silicon or optical grading crystal, sorry. We require graphene and we require hydrogen, a lot of hydrogen. They take four seconds to make, so that's three hydrogen a second. So that means that we can set up 10 in a row. Ten in a row is the max. All right, that's fine. Let's... Hmm. Let's get a... One of these. Let's see. So we'll set it up here. I think we actually need to drain this for some more space. Draining. And you are already empty. You're already empty. Okay. Let's give you some power. How are we looking power wise? We're fine for now. Okay. So, let's get some belt going. Oh, before we do that, we need to tell it what we want. We want optical grading crystal. We want graphene. And what was the last thing? Uh, hydrogen, of course. It is hydrogen, right? And not deuterium. No, it's hydrogen. Good. Good, 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 good. And then you can supply Casimir crystals, and you want some of those. Now, local demand, remote storage. And we'll stick in some of you, some of you. We won't request anything yet. So. And it's made in an assembler. Good. We have some of those. Let's get our items out of here. So we want... I think we want optical grading crystal. Uh, optical grading crystal. Then we want... Hydrogen. Come on. I'll save. And from here, you want graphene. And then we want the hydrogen here as well. Okay. Production. Here and say Casimir crystal with the optical grading crystal and uh, let's stick one on the other 
side as well. Let's just see. It has to be there. Which means it's there. Three. Six. Nine. Ten. And we'll do the same on this side. That. We have five outputs. We can do this with one output or input. So if we do this, Then it means that we can have another set like this here once this gets strained. I think that works. So let's get these going. This doesn't have to be long. This has to come to here, I think. There and let's go there. What? What's wrong with you? There we go. as well. So now we need some sorters. Let's start from this end. So what we need is you in there, you in there, and you in there. Then we need you, you in there, you in there, you in there. Tear those out. So that's how it's going to be. And then, of course, uh, come on. Uh, an output. There. Um, and some power, which will go here and here. Here, here, and here, and here, and here. Okay. So let me stick in the sorters here, and then I'll be back. Okie dokie. All of the sorters are in. So let's set up the tower. So you will remote demand those and local storage you will local demand remote demand and you will local demand remote demand and you will local supply remote supply that's fine okay so all of our stuff is coming in we have the hydrogen we have the graphene all we need is the Casimir crystals, or, or the, um, the optical rating crystal. And there we go, we're full up on hydrogen. We we'll just need the optical rating crystal, there it comes. I think, or is that more hydrogen? That was more hi hydrogen. There is the optical grading crystal. It should be coming. There is twenty seven Doradus. 
it's there. There it comes. I'm saving. Right, so it's on its way. There are some on the way out there as well. So cool. So incredibly cool. So incredibly cool. Alright. There they jump. I'm out of warp. And... Where are they? There they are. And we're actually producing. So the first ones have already arrived. Very, very cool indeed. So we're making Casimir crystals. We are making Casimir crystals. But we need to make more. Uh, is this still emptying out? It is. Uh, you can go away. You can go away. You cannot go away. Not yet, anyway. So, yeah. Casimir crystals are being made. Fantastic. All right. Uh, I don't suppose you have space for some. No. No. I want to get rid of those, but I don't want to delete them because they're valuable. All right. Uh, what's next? Next is titanium glass, I guess. Which is glass, titanium, and water. That's not too bad. Glass, titanium, and water. We actually have water right here. So we could build down here or something. Maybe build over here. Just fill in a bit of water. Not all of it though, because we need it. Let's just fill in like that, and we can get something going here, maybe. Let's take a look at the recipe here. So it's two of each. It takes five seconds. So that means one every two and a half seconds. So we can take get quite a lot. Um, so if oh, and we get two. So that means that in ten seconds we get four. From one. Now, that means, oh, math, math, uh, so that means if we built 10, that would be 40 seconds. That's too many. So 8, that's 32. That's kind of too many. We can only do 30, but... I think eight is fine. My math completely off. My math is completely off, isn't it? Uh, ten seconds, we get four. Oh, screw it. Let's just start some buildings, shall we? 
All right, what is it made in? Uh, assembler. How many assemblers do I have? 48. That's enough for now, anyway. We need a... Logistics transport station. No. Stick that in here. Okay. And we'll request, uh, let's see, glass. Titanium. And border. Okay, and we will supply titanium glass. So this is local and remote supply. This is local demand, but not that many. Remote storage. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And... Something like that. Sorry about that. I had a call. Okay, so we need to get stuff out of here. We need glass. We need uh, titanium. And we need Need water. There. And then we need another glass one. I think maybe. Uh, let's just extend these out a bit. Is there room for this? Yeah. If we stick these in here, uh, tell them to make titanium glass, then we can do something like this. Yeah, we can't do that. So we do need to get some out. So we need glass again. And it'll come up like this. And then we can sting stick in our production. Titanium glass. Copy that over there, and we can do two, one, two, three, and one, two, three. So that'll work. Okay. So let's copy this down the line, space in between, so that's six, that's nine, let's do twelve to start, and see how that looks. output 
line. And I haven't left myself enough space here, have I? Well, I can take these up if need be. There. Okay. Then it's just the sorters, so I'll be right back. Alrighty. All of the sorters are in, and the water is coming in as well because I just hooked that up. And those are some slow belts, aren't they? Let's. So the water is coming in, then we need the glass coming in, we will say local demand, remote demand, we need the titanium coming in, there we go. So, I can actually say local demand here as well, that's fine. Uh, let's do 3,000 of each. Something. Water is fine for 10,000, that's fine. No problem there. But it will be local demand, remote demand. Okay. We're just waiting for some titanium now. There it is. And we have our first titanium glass. Very nice. Very nice indeed. We need to expand it quite significantly though. That's okay. We can do that. I'll do that in between episodes or something. Uh, so that takes us one step closer here. We already have those producing. We need to produce more though. So then we need plane filters and that's two titanium glass and one casimir crystal. It takes 12 seconds to make Jesus Christ. Hmm. That means it consumes one titanium glass every six seconds. Which means we can do a lot. <laughs> a lot. Uh, okay. We need to find a spot for it. This might actually be okay. Yeah. Just fill this water in and run it here. That'll work. That'll work. Casimir crystals are still going. We don't have that many yet.
need to make another one here for those. Uh, it's empty now. Standing. So, in between episodes, I will double up on the Casimir crystals. And I'll also extend this quite a bit. Because you can see the outputs is minuscule. So we can extend quite a lot. We should actually run this around like we did with Casimir Crystals because when we have a full belt that means that our inputs and our outputs are fine. That means our inputs and outputs match. So if we have a full belt here that means that this is exactly what we need. So we can just extend that out. How much space do we have? A lot. A lot of space. So that's nice. So yeah, I will expand on the titanium glass and the Casimir crystals in between episodes. And in the next one, we will set up the quantum chips so that we can do gravity matrices. I'm looking forward to that. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.